Hi, and welcome to the My Dog Made Me Do It Naturally podcast. I am your host, Kat Jepsen, a canine nutritionist with an innate obsession with dogs and the natural ways in which we are driven to live because of them. So let's get to it. Mindset matters, and it really does. Now, feeding fresh food to your dog, it isn't just as simple as printing off a fresh food recipe and feeding it to your dog. Well, it can be, but it all depends on how you look at things. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So if you have grown up thinking that processed dog food is what you feed your dog, then that's exactly what I did. I mean, we always fed our family dogs. We fed them those, is it Webex chubs, the big chubs, and, you know, like pedigree biscuits and things like that. Our dogs were always fed dog food. But as you get older and you have more experiences with dogs and you get your own experiences, then things start to change. And if you look at things in a different way, then it really does help with the changes that you're about to make. So some of you will already be in this mindset, in the mindset that you need to tackle the fresh feed problem. And if you are, then that's great work. But if you're not, then you might need to go a little bit deeper to try and tackle your mindset. So your mindset is your habitual or characteristic mental attitude that determines how you will interpret and respond to situations. It's your dreams, your beliefs and your attitude. So if you don't yet believe that fresh food is the best thing for your dog and your attitude is sitting on the fence where you kind of think, hmm, really, then we definitely need to work on adapting the mindset. So Mindset is created by experience. It's a tendency to think in certain ways because of how we have experienced the world. So lots of negative experiences can lead to pessimistic outlooks, for example. Or it can just be simple things as we've always fed our dog processed food. So that is what we think is the way to do it. Now, your mindset shapes your world. It is a set of beliefs that shape how you make sense of the world and yourself. It influences how you think, feel and behave in any given situation. It means that what you believe about yourself impacts your success or your failure. So this is really important for your self-belief in your ability to feed your own dog. Now, we all know there's lots of information out there where professionals tend to say to people, you can't make your own dog food because you won't get it right, which in some cases it has been the truth. And that's because key nutrients have been missed from the diet. But as long as you cover all bases before you begin, then you absolutely can be successful in making your own dog's food. And it's really not rocket science. So this is where mindset, it's mind over matter that you have to believe in your own ability and forget what other people say. It shapes your life because it affects how we react to different circumstances, like our mindset, our mental attitude and disposition have significant impact on how our lives are shaped and how successful and fulfilled we feel. So this is the decisions we make. And this is basically the fact that Our mindset influences our decisions, which therefore influence how we feel and experience every day. Mindset can be transcended, which means you can rise above and go beyond things to transcend the limits of thought. It's kindness transcends courtesy and that kind of thing. So you can overcome your current mindset and develop a new mindset. Is habits of mind, which is curiosity, your desire to know more about the world, in this instance, the world of canine nutrition. It's openness, which is the willingness to consider new ways of being and thinking in the world, in this case, feeding your dog fresh foods. And it's engagement, which means a sense of investment and involvement in learning. How can you better yourself, your education, in order to feed your dog fresh foods? Your mindset can be developed. You can work on your mindset and open yourself up to a new way of thinking. And sometimes it's as easy as just doing some simple strategies every morning when you wake up. It does create blind spots, which are areas where... Blind spots are areas in our that we are unaware of our own biases 
limitations and assumptions sort of thing. So these hidden gaps in our awareness can hinder progress, limit potential and lead to missed opportunities. So if we don't know that we are being biased about something, then it can basically leave the door shut on new opportunities and new experiences and can even lead us to make bad decisions. And it can also be self-deceptive, which is basically you deceive yourself, especially concerning your true nature. So it can prevent you from being who you are supposed to be in respect to. If you truly believe that feeding your fresh food to your dog is the best thing, but your mindset is quite restricted and wants to conform to societal norms, then this is self-deception and it basically stops you from going where you want to go. Does that make sense? So in order to overcome the fixed mindset, which is here, then we need to look at the opposite sides now, the expert at anything was once a beginner. So if you are completely new to feeding fresh foods, then do not worry at all because everybody has to start somewhere and we all start at the beginning. So a fixed mindset is somebody who will say to themselves, this is good enough. I give up. I can't do this. I want to avoid making mistakes. I'll never be that smart. I know best. Whereas a growth mindset is somebody who says things like, mistakes help me learn. Feedback is valuable. I improve with practice. Is this my best work or can I do better? I won't give up. I can do this. So having a growth mindset means believing that your abilities can be improved through effort, learning and persistence. Your attitude in the face of challenges, how you process your failures and how you adapt and evolve as a result is what determines whether you've got a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. Now having a growth mindset opens up doors of opportunities for you to grow and it makes you feel good, it's optimistic. As a fixed mindset is that you believe your intelligence and talent and other qualities are innate and unchangeable and that you can't do anything about them. Now this is problematic because it holds you back, it physically prevents you from learning and from trying to be better. It also increases stress and pressure to perform because you're constantly comparing yourself to other people and it fosters negative emotions and feelings as it can have a negative impact on your self-esteem. So you get stuck in this negative cycle of constantly saying to yourself that you're not good enough. OK, so this is why we do the visualization practice in the workbook. OK, so that is getting you on board the growth mindset. So to start conquering the mind and opening it up to new possibilities, you have to challenge it. You have to challenge your current way of thinking. Now, this might not apply to you if you've already got a growth mindset anyway, but a lot of people don't. And to visualize something and to visualize the changes helps to swap over from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset because it gets you thinking of the possibilities that are open to you. And if you haven't yet done this activity in the workbook and you haven't visualized where you are going to go, then you really need to do that to tackle it. OK, so believe you can and you're halfway there. It sounds cheesy, but it really is true. Self-belief is half the battle. It really is. And if you do want to change your mindset, it depends on three things. That's your courage to dream, your intelligence to plan and your will to succeed. And these are going to be the three things that are going to get you through your fresh food plan. And once you've, once you've done your plan, that's it. You're plain sailing through your fresh feeding journey. Now, you must be the one to empower yourself on this journey. And it's easy to get overwhelmed when learning new things and the anxiety of messing it up and thinking about maybe not giving your dog what they need. It's real. It's real. It's a real anxiety that we as pet parents have. This is your fur baby. You want what's best for them. So obviously you want to get it right. But nutrition and dog food and big monopoly companies have bullied us into thinking we can't feed our own dogs. And they don't want you to think for yourself because 
they don't want you to make your own dog food because they can't make money if you make your own food, especially if it's from fresh whole food ingredients, which more than likely come from a supermarket. So you need to get out of thinking you need an intense education and spreadsheets and complicated diet plans or expensive consultations to make homemade dog food and start believing in yourself. You know yourself that if you went to the doctor and you had a health issue, they would tell you to eat a varied diet made of fresh foods in order to be healthy. And it's common sense that this would apply to your dog as well. So why vets always recommend highly processed food is really beyond me. If your doctor told you to feed your human children the same processed food every day for a health issue, you'd probably tell them to stick it. The same applies to our dogs. So mindset with fresh feeding is opening your mind to fresh food as medicine. It's opening your mind to other avenues being successful in reaching optimal health for your dog. And it's being curious as to how these things work. But it's not just about your thoughts on your food either. It's stopping caring about other people's judgments. It's remembering it's not a one size fits all and it's finding what's comfortable for you and your dog. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Your mindset is your most powerful weapon. So you must conquer it. Thanks for listening to another great episode of the My Dog Made Me Do It Naturally podcast. Don't forget to check out the caption for any links discussed here today. And please, if you enjoyed the show, follow along and listen for free on your favourite podcast app. If you have any questions or would like to share your story, feel free to email me at mydogmademedoitnaturally at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. The purpose of this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and should not be substituted as advice from a veterinarian or other professional. It does not form a client relationship with me, the host, or any guest speakers, and any information is not intended to and does not diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. And my guests express our own views, thoughts, and opinions as individuals, and the podcast neither endorses or opposes the views, products, or services discussed here. If your pet is ill, always seek advice from your veterinarian. I am not a veterinarian, and I do not treat disease or offer medical advice.